Miss Gigi presents Swirled Flat Twist and Mini Twist. First, I put a little aloe vera gel on the section I was about to flat twist, and then I pinned the hair that I'm now working with out of the way. This first flat twist is going to go from one ear to the eye on the opposite side. And for those who are still trying to master the flat twist, you basically have to think about it literally. It's basically a flat twist. I mean, as common sense as that sounds, that's really all it is. You basically are twisting a twist against your scalp. And so you basically cross one section over top of the other, one section over top of the other, over and over again. And don't feel bad if you can't flat twist, because guess what? I can't cornrow, so I just do what I know how to do. I know how to twist, I know how to flat twist, so I create many different looks with the techniques that I know how to do. And right now, I'm just checking out my work. I'm not that pleased with this flat twist, but guess what? I'm going to rock it out. Because I ain't doing a take two. And now I'm parting out another section right next to the other flat twist that I just did. And as you can see, I'm using a wooden chopstick to part my hair. And I didn't create this method. I actually borrowed this method from a naturality member by the name of Whitley Gilbert. And I'm just doing the same thing over and over again for two more times to have a total of three flat twists along the front. And now I'm left with a big old patch of hair in the front. And all I did was just pin these other flat twists out of the way and then I decided just to do your basic straight back flat twist on the side. Nothing really fancy. And since I have a big old Gina Apple head, I have more than enough room to do four flat twists in this section. My head is bigger than I thought. It's actually fabulous, jokers. So right now I'm just confused at what in the world I did to my hair and I'm trying to decide how in the world I'm going to style it once I'm done. Yeah, maybe this will work. And now I'm just parting a section right in the front where I'm going to put mini twists. And as always, I'm just putting my hair into sections. It just makes work with my hair a lot easier. And now right behind that section where I said I was going to add mini twists, I parted out a section where I'm going to add two flat twists. And these two flat twists are going to wrap around the mini twist when they are complete. Now I'm done flat twisting and from here on out I'm just going to add mini twists all over the rest of my hair. It's the morning after and now I have to figure out what in the world I'm going to do with these flat twists in the front. That chick named Raggedy Ann? She don't got nothing on me. So right now, I'm just securing the mini twist out of the way. Next, I'm going to take these three flat twists in the front and just secure them right beside the mini twist. Always make sure that you use bobby pins that still have the balls attached to the end. And I just pin down each flat twist one at a time. Next, I'm going to take these straight back flat twists and pin them over top of the flat twist that I just pinned in. And once again, I'm going to pin each flat twist individually. Last, I'm going to take these flat twists that are in the back and pin them over top of the other two sets of flat twists.
Next, I'm going to do something with these mini twists in the front. I decided that I'm just going to pin these mini twists to the side. And now I'm just going back and cleaning up any mini twists that doesn't look right in front. And that's all folks. I hope this tutorial was helpful and if you do this style, let me know, send a video response, leave a comment down below. I'm Miss Gigi y'all and I'm out. Peace.